Hi friends, ND Vegan. We make another banana milk today and I love banana milks. Um, I, today I make one with cashews and dates. That is uh, one of my favorite combinations. Uh, they're all food soothing, nourishing, warming, cozy, uh, creamy. Ah, that's so nice. And today I had a special seasoning, like spice, I mean that is a uh, cardamom. I'll show you right away. Cardamom is, um, I once read it says queen of spices. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from, but it's 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 really uh, appropriate, I think. Here I, I have um, maybe a teaspoon or so of ground caramel cardamom. Here are the seeds. And the seeds, you find them in pots usually. This is a pod. And that's the way I prefer them, because when you open a pot, and then you have the seeds, and then you ground the seeds yourself with a mortar, then you really smell the difference. I can also purchase a powder yeah, or the seeds. Yeah, it's possible I have some yeah, for situations. But to do it yourself and ground it in the moment you use it, uh, it's really a different, it makes a difference. It's such a different smell, you know. But a, there is a, a etheric oil in this spice, in this cardamom. Etheric oil means an oil that can evaporate into the air. And the moment you ground it, it comes out and you can smell it, this, this wonderful, intense uh, fragrance. And it, it, it smells like, it, like, it, like its uh, medical effects are. It is really antimicrobial. When you read about cardamom, um, the Indian spice, the famous one, put in all kinds of meals and sweets and coffees and teas to take away what's not needed to make the coffee and the tea really on Arab, Arab countries too, to make it more becoming. It really works, I try that all the time. Uh, cardamom is super. Um, and it's, and it's uh, antimicrobial means that uh, the microbes, the uh, bad guys that are there are uh, diminished by them, by cardamom. Uh, it's good for the tummy, for the stomach, for the, for the tummy, uh, it makes a happy tummy. Uh, and it has a wonderful flavor. It has this, uh, it's not like pepper, but it is a kind of in this direction, but it is so different. It's more like alcohol, I would say. But you have to taste it. It's very nice. Um, and it has a strong flavor and it's perfect for sweets. So this sweet smoothie here, this banana milk. Uh, I have here four bananas, uh, medium sized, not the super large one, not the small ones, the medium. And they have to be ripe, of course, because then I mean, in this case, sometimes I use bananas not so ripe, but for this, as I really recommend using a ripe banana, because when the starch, that is a complex carbohydrate, uh, it, uh, transforms is into glucose, the simple sugar. Uh, starches are complex sugars and ripening with the sun, and so that breaks them down into um, simple sugars, glucose. And glucose is the, f uh, the fuel for our cells. Most cells burn just glucose yeah, um, for energy. And when the banana is really ripe, then all the starches have been uh, transformed into glucose and they're really sweet and nice. And for this uh, kind of banana milk, I would like it in this way. But there are other ways to use the banana not so ripe also. That is up to you, of course. And here I have nine dates. These are medium dates, pitted, of course. And um, they make uh, the, the whole um, smoothie even sweeter, the malty sweetness. I found the dates so nice together with the banana. And the cashew, another thing that makes the smoothie creamy, half a cup here, about the measurements, you know, more or less. It just doesn't really matter. As you wish, really, you can take more bananas, less bananas, yeah, make it creamier or thicker with cashews, more cashews, less cashews, dates, sweeter, less sweeter, yeah. Uh, dates are super healthy because um, they have a lot of sugar that is good, but it is also uh, coated, uh, it's uh, capsuled in fiber uh, and um, many uh, nutrients that are only in plants, phytonutrients, that make the dates super healthy. There is a studies about it, so a lot of studies that show how healthy dates are. It's the recommended sweetener in my kitchen. I always use dates. Here I can, they're a little bit dark, yeah, dark color. Sometimes you need a light color, so that 
Yeah, usually if like and this is perfect, yeah. And I like the flavor, I like the nice sweetness, gentleness, and it's perfect for the cardamom to have this cardamom in the center of the smoothie flavor. Um, and the sweetness is a nice counterbalance. It's perfect. Yeah. Cardamom is perfect for sweet desserts. Yeah. It makes it more becoming, you know, and, and so forth and so forth. And I have a half a lemon that keeps the whole thing fresh and balances the dates a little bit. Half a large lemon, I would say. And again, all these measurements, totally up to you. You can use more or less. A little bit of lemon is recommended with bananas because the bananas turn brown quickly when you blend it. And the lemon uh, keeps it from turning brown. So I begin with a, um, with a teaspoon of cardamom that I ground myself directly before I made the video. And, and now I add water to keep it to come and make a smoothie, otherwise it would be a cashew cream. So I begin with a cup, maybe two cups. Uh, I made one smoothie like this with another spice the other day. Um, ginger, also one of the big tops. But this one is cardamom and two cups water seem to be cool and you have a nice texture. And let's see the blender dance. I make the blender dance. And here is my new blender. That is a top model from Revo Blend, a German brand. I don't tell you about it because it's really amazing. It um, rivals the big American um, companies that make fantastic blenders, high-speed blenders. But this is a German one, and if you want to try, I can highly recommend it. It's cheaper, it's good quality, it's more powerful even, <laughs> and has a good warranty, 10 years or so. So, and the guy is always around and helps you when it's defect or has to be repaired. He takes it back, repairs it in no time, brings it back. So, very good thing. I'm going to try it. And now blender dance. That's the first blending, especially when I have dates and cashews that have not been soaked ahead of time. And they're soaking now. After the first blending, that means everything is broken down. That's what power blenders do. Blenders, all blenders do that, but power blenders very effectively. So they break down uh, the food to the, to the nutrients. The cells are broken up and broken down, and the, the nutrients come all into the liquid, into the smoothie. And you get more food, more nutrients from the same food. Blenders do that. And now that they are broken down in small pieces, the nuts, they are still small pieces, and they begin to soak now very fast because it's a little bit warmer. The blending makes it a little bit warmer. Are, the pieces are broken down, and now they begin to soak in the liquid. And when I blend it in a minute or so again, you can try that yourself when you have, a, especially when you don't have a power blender. But also with the power blender, I would the high-speed blender, I would recommend to make a second blending to stop now. Now I can check if all the seasonings are as I like, or I do want to add some more lemon or some more cardamom or whatever, yeah, more water or so. Let's try. Yeah. The texture is already nice, I can see that, and it will change a little bit after the second blending and the soaking now. The, the creaminess will be perfect. Um, and the flavor also, because when you blend it and break it down, all the flavors, the nutrients come out and they combine to one new flavor. That's what also the blender does, uh, like cooking, when you heat, it's, the same thing happens, but just this without heat. Yeah. You blend long enough, then you get also heated up, but you don't need to do that. So let's taste it now. I want to taste it and see if I, what I can do, what I can change. Mm. Oh, that's good. I would say absolutely perfect. Lemon is half, half a lemon, and there's a little lemon flavor. It's really nice. And cardamom, well, I will order it, one teaspoon. That's okay. I could put more, but 
Well, I don't need to put more, it's okay. The creaminess is nice, the lemon is nice, the sweetness, nice. so, well, I like it, I have to say, yeah, and um, so I don't need to change now, immediately, but I can blend one more time, the second blending, the so-called second blending, as I say, and um, then the flavor will be as I, as I get it from this combination, and I can always uh, add more seasoning if I wish after the second blending. One more thing, um, the second blending is also recommended because of technical reasons, because these high-speed blenders, they're very powerful, and there's a lot of power, energy, transmitted from the engine to the blades on the bottom of the blender case, your blender uh, container here. And this transmission of power, yeah, this makes the blender vulnerable. So even the high-speed blender, they break down at that, at, that, at, that, at that class. And if I blend only, well, let's say 30, 30 seconds, until I break, uh, stop the blending and wait for it a little bit, I save time because now the soaking takes a little time from, and so I, I don't need to uh, put so much um, pressure on this uh, wonderful uh, machine. Yeah? Um, I save a little bit and keep the blending times shorter. That uh, saves blending life, a lifetime of a blender. That's, that's one thing um, I always like to share because I have these blenders now for well, it's maybe 10 years, 12 years or so, and I had other blenders before, and you always have to repair them after some years or some time. Always happens something, and sometimes when you don't know uh, what um, wears most off the blender, uh, you could save time and money <laughs> with some small tricks. And that's not difficult to wait a little bit in between. One more blender dance. I'm very excited now about my new smoothie, my new banana milk. I also use banana milk smoothies, and I call them, to make all kinds of smoothies. The idea is bananas and nuts or seeds, and uh, with water, you blend that into banana milk. And then you could all, look at all kinds of other ingredients, like greens, for example, green, le green le leafy greens or so, dark leafy greens, like kale or something, or spinach into the banana milk smoothie and then you make these um, these smoothies with greens delicious and it's so easy before I knew that before I find out before I found out about the banana milk smoothies that I call them I was always struggling how to make this uh, smoothie now delicious yeah what do I add how much uh, greens are allowed to make it not bitter and so it's all over once you have the I have the banana milk smoothies all kinds of green smoothies are easy to make. Check it out for yourself. But this is not for banana milk smoothies for greens. This is just for its by itself. It's a wonderful drink. It's nice and runny. I will show you in a moment. It might um, thicken up a little bit because of the cashews. But I like it runny too. It's a refreshing drink and it gives energy. Mm. Oh yeah. Now I can taste the cardamom. It comes out a little bit later. Now I can taste it. Very nice. And I show you my new banana milk smoothie here with the cardamom. See? Mm. Wonderful texture. Like a perfect banana milk, I would say. I always try something new. Yeah. Next time, maybe I combine cardamom with cinnamon or ginger or so yeah, to make the next uh, level. <laughs> yeah. I always begin with small numbers of ingredients, these are five. It's already more than three, that's my minimum, to make it a little bit interesting. And I make a new recipe every single day to uh, include um, uh, more and more plants into my menu, step by step. Uh, when adding to five ingredients, it's a little bit more complex, but um, that's how I explore the ingredients. Now I taste the caramel. I can taste the caramel, it's the main ingredient here. 
on top of the other ones that are standard. Bananas, dates, lemons are standard. And then I add cardamom, or instead of cardamom, cinnamon, or ginger, you name it. And then I explore these ingredients. This card what is cardamom doing? What's ginger doing? What's cinnamon doing? When I drink this, I find out. And then I know more. And then I can make a next recipe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe MDV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.